Life is a beautiful. As Roberto Benigni taught us by depressing the shit out of us and then getting scuff marks on all our nice chairs. Food, drink, music, movies, sex, friendship, the mysteries of the whole vasty Whedonverse. Simple pleasures of life that, in some ways, can never be improved upon. So why do we keep trying? Remember when we used to just do stuff? Cool stuff, too, like go to the moon. It's different, but it's very pretty out here. See, that was neat. And it was just that, that we went and landed on the damn moon. Now we're talking about going to the big red moon, and instead of tuning in when the ship makes orbit, the American public will be treated to an entire reality documentary series following the astronaut hopefuls on their quest to be a part of the first manned flight to Mars or die trying. Or die winning, too, I guess. Hmm. If you liked someone on that show, would you try to vote them onto the suicide space mission or off of it? Not to mention the fact that we felt the need to actually go back and alter the moon landing. Please! I mean, we use Facebook and Foursquare to earn points for going to bars and seeing our friends. Remember when the incentive for getting drunk with your friends was I'm done talking because you probably see where I'm going with this now? We use plastic instruments and dance pads to interact with music we like. Or we did. I still do. It's not, we all stopped rock band, right? We all simultaneously decided that's not cool. Why, for God's sake, do we have to play Monopoly to eat McDonald's food? It's already poisonously addictive. You don't see guys getting every 10th heroin cap free with a punch card. Although that is not a bad marketing ploy. You're welcome, the many heroin dealers I assume watch my online videos. And hey, speaking of the cracked audience, I know I don't need to remind our readership of the vast panoply of sexual specializations and enhancements available from this very internet. Porn these days is so comprehensive, there's basically no difference between masturbating at home alone every night and a beautiful woman who's deeply in love with you. There isn't, is there? I'm sure there isn't. Man, whatever happened to just loading up Tinder, sexting at the nearest fly honey, and pounding it out behind a Dave and Buster's? Everything has to be worth points now. I mean, I get trying to make an unpleasant experience suck less, like playing a phone game where you wait in line to buy a new phone with better games. But do we really need to incentivize Sex? Movies? Friendship? Space? Text your answer to the below number for a chance to win a digital date with a cracked personality. We'll film the event and release it as a web series later. Stay tuned for the blooper reel from that series after the blooper reel from this. All right, I did a take. Give me a hand job. Candy bar, whatever, just give me it. It's not. Well then what's it like to have sex with a beautiful woman that's in love with you? Oh man! We did it guys. I got published. Soren Rodica. Right there on your bookshelf at your local grocery store and airport. Obsession Untamed. Look for it. That's me. Photoshopped the body to make me look a little less strong. Couldn't fit the entire thing on the cover. <laughs>